Good morning. Uh, in this lecture, I'm going to give you a little bit of background on John Green and the Fault in Our Stars um, to, uh, as a way of informing you before we begin our discussion. John Green was born in 1977. He is a best-selling um, and award-winning author of young adult fiction. Um, who, you may have already read some of his works. They include Looking for Alaska, An Abundance of Catherine's um, Paper Towns, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, The Fault in Our Stars, and his most recent work, which is Turtles All the Way Down. Um, he also has just a huge media presence. Um, he sort of famously runs a video blog with his brother Hank, um, which actually inspired a spin-off community called Nerd Fighters, who fight for intellectualism and seek to decrease quote-unquote suck, um, which includes efforts to, um, to fight poverty um, as well as environmental problems. He also runs an educational YouTube channel called Crash Course, and he has um, a number of other online ventures. He lives in Indianapolis, so he's actually pretty close by. Now, after graduating from college, um, he worked as a student chaplain at the Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio, um, where he worked with um, children suffering from life-threatening illnesses. And that experience um, helped inform The Fault in Our Stars. So The Fault in Our Stars was published in uh, 2012. It um, made it to the New York Times bestseller list. It actually was made into a major motion picture in uh, 2014. And it's kind of known for its really kind of sharp, witty dialogue, um, really intelligent protagonists, and just, for me, it's sh sheer literariness. Um, you'll probably notice that the author references Shakespeare several times. And a huge part of the novel turns on Peter Van Houten's imperial affliction. Um, Hazel reads it all the time. Um, Augustus and Hazel um, in part come together because of their shared interest in the book and um, it becomes one of the reasons that they decide to go to Amsterdam. Um, in addition, Green begins his book with a fake epigraph from the beginning of the book An Imperial Affliction. Um, now, An Imperial Affliction is not actually a real book, so it's a book that Green made up. And so in creating this book within a book, he brings up questions that, you know, for the reader to debate about you know, really what is fiction and what is real. And that becomes a theme that Hazel, Hazel herself explores. Um, and one of the ways that Hazel does this is by exploring um, the way in which conventional narratives about children with cancer relate to her life. Um, and the way that she and her parents um, understand and negotiate her illness. She also really ultimately sees an enormous gulf between um, her own experience and that conventional cancer narrative. But she also recognizes that she um, lives in a world that wants her to be a conventional cancer narrative. So I want to examine um, a couple of things um, within our discussion board. These include, you know, how Hazel expresses and relates to conventional cancer narratives, um, and how Ellen Samuels' essay can help us think about A Fault in Our Stars. Um, one of the things to bear in mind that maybe could get lost is that um, Hazel Augustus, Hazel and Augustus um, and their friends are, are ultimately really um, not only children that have, um, that have various um, types of cancer at various stages, but are also um, you know, students that, that are actually pretty pretty disabled. All right, so I'm interested in um, taking up this discussion and I look forward to seeing on the discussion board.